Hello Year 9 and welcome to this week's English work. This week, the week beginning Monday the 22nd of June, you're going to be looking at a short story called Chemistry by Graham Swift. And you should have already read the story or listened to Miss Prescott reading it to you. So there's the story. What I'm going to be doing in this video is talking you through the work and explaining the activities around the story. So there we are. The first thing that you're going to do is to answer these comprehension questions in full sentences. It's really important, the full sentences part. So we don't want one word answers. We want you to write each of your answers in complete sentences. And you can see there are the seven questions there. What advice does the grandfather give the narrator about the loss of his boat? Remember, the narrator is the person who's telling the story, whose point of view it is. Number two, what happened to the narrator's father? Number three, what do they eat for pudding? Number four, what does the granddad dissolve in nitric acid? Number five, what do the narrator's mother and Ralph drink? Number six, what does the narrator want the acid for that he takes from the shed? And finally, number seven, what happens to the grandfather in the end? So that's lesson one. Now lesson two, we're going to look a little bit more deeply at the text and analysing the text. So you can see we're going to be looking at the start of the story. And in a moment, I'm going to read for you again this extract from the start of the story because that's going to be the part of the text that we're really going to focus on for this part. So the story starts with the grandfather and the narrator sailing a boat across a lake. This is usually fine until one day. And here's our extract. Then one day, it must have been soon after mother met Ralph. We watched the boat on its first trip across the pond to grandfather suddenly become deeper and deeper in the water. The motor cut. The launch wallowed, sank. Grandfather made several throws with his grapnel and pulled out clumps of green slime. I remember what he said to me on this, the first loss in my life that I had witnessed. He said very gravely, you must accept it. You can't get it back. It's the only way. As if he were repeating something to himself. And I remember mother's face as she got up from the bench to leave. It was very still and very white, as if she had seen something appalling. So that's a very vivid opening of the story. And you can see this section of the story is about loss and helplessness. So how could this be seen as a metaphor? Remember, a metaphor is something that is used to represent something else like a kind of a symbol. So how is this a metaphor for what has happened to both the grandfather and the narrator? And why is the mother so affected by this occurrence? And here's a little hint to help you. Think about what's happened to the family and about how the grandfather's advice is relevant to the narrator's life. And again, we want you to write your answers in full sentences. So that's number one. Now number two, Another extract. Read again this description of the, the narrator's father coming to him in a dream. That night, my father came to my bedroom. I knew it was him. His hair and clothes were wet. His lips were caked with salt. Seaweed hung from his shoulders. He came and stood by my bed. Where he trod, pools of water formed on the carpet and slowly oozed outwards. For a long time he looked at me. Then he said, it was her. She made a hole in the bottom of the boat, not big enough to notice so it would sink, so you and grandfather would watch it sink. The boat sank like my plane. He gestured to his dripping clothes and encrusted lips. Don't you believe me? He held out a hand to me, but I was afraid to take it. So that's a very dramatic extract. 
So what we want you to do is to think about, in your opinion, what are the five best words and the three best phrases. Remember, a phrase is usually two or three words, a short collection of words. So the five best words, but the three best phrases, from that description there, to help you picture the father's appearance from the bottom of the Irish Sea. So choose them, and then you write down and explain what each one tells you about him. So, for example, the father says to the narrator, it was her. She made a hole at the bottom of the boat, not big enough to notice so it would sink. So you and grandfather would watch it sink. The boat sank like my plane. Okay, so what is this indicating about how the narrator feels about his mother? Explain how technique and language have been used to affect the reader and what this shows about the relationship the boy and the mother have. So this time you've been given an even shorter extract and what you need to do is to look at the techniques and language that are used there. What effect do they have on you as a reader? And what does that show about the relationship between the boy and his mother? So that's number two. Now number three, the story ends with these lines. He was smiling and I knew. The launch was still travelling over to him unstoppable, unsinkable along that invisible line and his hands, his acid marked hands would reach out to receive it. So why do you think the story starts and ends with the same description? What is Swift, remember he's the writer, saying about life and death? So think about life and death, the start and the end of the story and having the same description. What do you think the writer might be saying? And then after that, if you're up for the challenge question, and I hope you are, let's think about this. Why do you think the mother turns against the grandfather when Ralph moves into her life? So that's a really probing, really challenging question. And we want you to really think about that. Okay, so that's lesson two. And now let's move on to lesson three. This is about your personal response. So the story is about some very profound and important aspects of life. So how do you respond to those as a reader, as an individual? So there's three questions we want you to explore. Number one, what do you think about the mother? Do you consider her to be a bad person? Yes or no? And what's happened in the story to form that impression? So give some evidence, find some quotes to support what you say. Number two, let's think about Ralph and his influence on the family. How do you feel about that, about him? Especially about the way the grandfather is treated. Again, find evidence, find words, find phrases to support your ideas and your point of view. And finally, what is this story saying about loss and death, with those themes? How do we see these people coping or not coping with what has happened to them? What do you think Swift is trying to say about loss and about death? Okay, so that explains all the work. I hope that that is clear. If there's anything that you're not clear about, please contact your own English teacher to get further guidance. But otherwise, happy reading and I hope you get on with it well. Goodbye.